Do you remember the ozone layer? Is that just, was that just a 90s thing? Is it better now? We just stopped talking about it. I mean, what? What happened to that? <laughs> well, thanks for asking. I'll tell you about the ozone layer. Uh, so yeah, in the, in the 1980s, especially like when it came to a peak, there was a lot of concerns about the ozone layer being depleted because we were producing chemicals that were combining with the ozone. Ozone is basically a molecule comprised of three oxygen atoms, right? And it's critical for protecting the Earth from UV radiation from the sun. So, and there was a big hole in the ozone layer over the Antarctic. That was the thing. And the the issue was, well, if we keep producing these uh, chlorofluorocarbons, these CFCs, they're going to slowly deplete the ozone layer, and that will be bad for life on Earth. Uh, now, this didn't just go away. There was something called the Montreal Protocol, which was an international treaty signed in 1986 that went into effect in 1989, and it banned basically CFCs and any other aerosolized chemical that depleted the ozone. And what happened was it worked. The Montreal Protocol, an international treaty, worked. They banned the ozone-depleting chemicals, and the ozone has been slowly recovering ever since then. Projections are that uh, by 2066, it'll be completely back to normal, back to the pre-whatever industrial levels. Uh, but even um, in some parts of the world, the ozone will be back to full strength um, starting in the 2030s. So and we're, we're like halfway there now, back to, to where we should be. So it's all good now. It's kind of funny. It kind of reminded me of asking, like, whatever happened to that Y2K thing? Did that ever turn into anything? It's like, well, we fixed it so it wasn't a problem. That's what happened. But it is amazing how, like, people were hearing about it. You know, if you lived through that period of time, you heard about the, you know, all of the dire warnings about the ozone. Then you just stop hearing about it. And, but that's because we solved the problem. It, it's a good proof of concept that, you know, these kinds of, of uh, international treaties can work. Maybe we should try that for like the whole global warming thing. What do you think? I don't know.